It's been such a long time since we spoke about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer Remastered. And guess what? That is exactly what today's video is all about. But before we jump into the video, let's have a little message from our sponsor. Whoa, 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 wait right there. I need to tell you about the sponsor of this video. Okay, we don't really have a sponsor, but this is what's going down. We have a secret project going over on a separate channel. So make sure you go over there, hit that subscribe button, turn them bell notifications on because something secret and something special is dropping very, very soon. So let's get straight back into this video. So Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer, where is it? This thing has been circulating in the air for more than a year now. It was probably about three or four years ago when this thing actually got listed on like the Italian version of Amazon or the German version or whatever it was. It's been such a long time since things f like first came out and you know we're, we're talking three, four years down the line and we're still talking about the multiplayer remastered. Where is this thing? what's happening with it and everything along those lines so as you know a year ago now we had the campaign remaster absolutely fantastic campaign they did an absolutely an amazing job with it uh if you're still playing the campaign have fun with it if you need any of the intel locations they're all on my channel i covered absolutely every single piece of intel so they will be on my channel if you ever need them so the multiplayer where is multiplayer Everybody wants multiplayer. You go on Twitter, you go on to Discord, you go on to Facebook, you go on to Instagram, you even go on to, to MySpace, if, if that's still even a thing anymore. People are talking about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer. Obviously, there's no 100% legitimate news out there, but obviously what we do like to see is some leaks coming through, and you, basically, one leak kind of came through but it came through months ago and i never actually covered it on this channel and it's just kind of been brought up to my attention again and i've seen other people uh, make videos on this kind of thing so you know why not we have the resources right here to make this video let's make this video so for all my subscribers stay and everybody new make sure you're hitting that subscribe button that like button go downstairs hit up that comment section so i love to see what everybody has to say about this so a few months ago there was a leak were inside of Black Ops Cold War slash Warzone. Basically, people got in, they data mined it, they pulled some bits out, and basically, what's come out of this is a bundle for Soap. If you don't know who Soap is, he is everybody's favourite Scotsman. Well, may maybe second favourite Scotsman. He's a uh, he's John Soap McTavish, and John Soap McTavish obviously was in Modern Warfare Two. Everybody loved him. He was in that cliffhanger mission, absolutely amazing mission. And that bundle is directly linked to that cliffhanger mission. So obviously I can't show the images on screen, but what I can do is I can just talk through what these images are. So not everything on the bundle is related to cliffhanger, but there's a few significant ones that are. So the first one on here is called To The Top, and it is an epic weapon charm. And basically it's the man himself holding two ice picks either hand and obviously that's a direct relation to the cliffhanger mission the next one on here is the cold depths epic emblem and basically it's just a wintry scene you know the skinhead bloke with a mohawk as we all know him john so is just stood right in the middle with some snow falling around him the next one is a legendary weapon and it's called the alpen stock but obviously names of things like this are subject to change because obviously these were pulled out of files many months ago and obviously they can change them as and when they wish to so this one is actually a legendary weapon it's called an alpenstock and this is actually the ice pick that he uses in the mission cliffhanger so obviously just there from three things alone we have a weapon charm, we have an emblem, and we have a weapon all linking to the cliffhanger mission. So people are probably wondering how much is this thing going to cost, when is it coming out, and is it going to be tied with anything coming in the future? I can, I can tell you some of those information. So right now this bundle will cost 2,400 COD points, which is like £25, $25, which seems like a ridiculous price, and it is. But 
they wouldn't just put a $25 nostalgia pack in the game without it tying to something that is coming or something that it comes along with and here's where things get a bit juicy obviously so this has been pulled out of the files many months ago and obviously it's come back up right now because we're obviously doing a video on it and what people are saying and what people are thinking what I do believe myself is this right here this will be linking directly to the multiplayer remastered so obviously if you look back in the past Infinite Warfare came out it was bundled with Modern Warfare remastered Nobody cared about Infinite Warfare when it first came out. Uh, obviously, everybody's played Modern Warfare Remastered. Then everybody kind of got sucked a bit back into the Infinite Warfare Zombies because it's absolutely fantastic. So the end of this year is going to be a Sledgehammer game release. And what we know so far from this Sledgehammer game release is going to be called Call of Duty Vanguard. And obviously, from yesterday's video, Call of Duty Vanguard is in an absolute state. It's an absolute disaster. Now here is where things get a little bit more juicy. Things were a bit juicy before, but things are taking an extra step of juiciness. If Vanguard is so bad, and Vanguard is so undercooked, if that's what you want to call it, then they have every right to release Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer with Vanguard just to get the sales up. So obviously what we know right now is this bundle is going to cost uh, $25.00. Obviously, this is subject to change, and this has been known for a long, long time. $25 was mentioned months ago, but now Vanguard's in a bit of a state. They have every right to bundle Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer in with Vanguard just to boost up the sales. And obviously, if you go ahead and buy Vanguard and you get the Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer bundle, you're going to get yourself these bundle of things for Black Ops Cold War and Wars and obviously by that time Cold War won't be as much as a big thing anymore it'll kind of just be pushed to the side but Warzone will still be growing in the background and that is exactly where you can use the soap operator bundle but just like always I want to hear everything that you guys have to say about this one because obviously there's lots of theories going around and when's multiplayer coming out and there's a bundle and Basically, Vanguard's a bit of a mess, and things aren't looking good right now. But with a multiplayer attached to Vanguard, they can easily make sales. Me personally, I will probably buy it if it's attached to Vanguard, because Modern Warfare 2 is like one of my favourites of all time. But then we have Vanguard, we have multiplayer, and we also have some little juicy little gifts to use on Warzone. So it's kind of a win-win all around for everyone. But it's just a shame how long this multiplayer is taking to release. It's been such a long time. It's been too many years, too many months, too many days. And people just want multiplayer out right now. But obviously, if multiplayer comes out, it will be tied in with a load of store bundles inside of the multiplayer game. Uh, there will be a load of microtransactions. All the glitches that we, we knew in the, in the Modern Warfare 2 before will all be gone. So there's definitely some uh, pros and cons to the multiplayer coming out, but let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts about this. Is it going to be tied along with Vanguard? Is it going to be released separately? Who knows? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out. Peace.